Uh, next speaker this evening is uh, Abha Jadav. She's an international women's achiever, award holder, the influential women achiever of India, best professional of India, best new YouTuber, and LinkedIn top professional all the year 2021. She's the founder of the AJ School of Digital Learning, a parental coach. Uh, she has a YouTube channel, Spotlight with Abba, and uh, those of who, have, who haven't seen the channel or not subscribed to it, do so tonight, because you're, gonna, you're missing out on a lot of good things. Uh, she's presently the principal at Rahul International School in Pune. Her focus is on inculcating values and life skill in students. And uh, she's going to be talking to us on gender discrimination. Over to you, Abba. It was April 1993 when I was about to give my final year BA examination. And so I was thinking about my further studies. I was very keen to go for fashion designing course. I filled forms from some Indian and one of the Australian colleges. Luckily, got admission form from Australian college. We were financially sound at that time. So five lakhs for five years course was not a big deal at, for my father. But my father didn't allow me to go for it. Just because I was a girl. He said, what will you do by studying so much? Get married and then do whatever your husband wishes. I have to bury my dreams and follow what my father wished me to do. And then I never got a chance to study further. That was the moment I promised myself that just because I'm girl, you didn't allow me to leave the home. The day will come when I will be the only child of yours who will bring laurels to the family. Good evening, everyone. Today, I'm here to present my thoughts on are we still gender biased? The story I just told is maybe 28 years old, but I can still see many Abhas burying their dreams today also. As a school head, I see many parents coming and asking for their brilliant, intelligent girls, girl child leaving certificate and shift her to government schools as they can't afford their fees. They always say, why, what is there in teaching uh, in studying, uh, sending a girl to a school and making her so much learned. After all, she has to, you know, take care of household, of course. But they won't let their boy child leave the school, even if he's just a mediocre child in studies. During lunch breaks also, I see good food in boys' difference with lots of ghee and dry fruits, etc., and simple food in girls' difference, which hardly had any nutrition value. Today also parents doesn't wish to send girls for higher courses or jobs. Many a times I met highly educated girls who have stopped seeing dreams of their own and forced to become homemakers and not using that education for some productive purpose. They develop a dream that their parents have planned for them. Why today also in many parts of our country, still a daughter-in-law is expected to give birth to a boy child only? Why since early childhood, girls are given utensils and dolls to play? Why during teenage, a girl still has to learn household course along with her studies? 
why it takes a lot of courage and effort for a girl from middle class and sometimes upper class families to, to create her identity. Why girls and women are still considered the softest and the weakest gender. I know, now many of you will say that there are many examples of women excelling in various fields, right from Kiran Bedi, Kalpana Chawla, Saina Neval, Gita Fogart, Maricom, etc. But some of even these females have faced the gender bias in their families and in the society. They were lucky to get such parents, especially father, who supported them in fulfilling their dreams. But I must tell their journey was not that easy. Even if we speak about our government plans, the Beti Bachao Beti Padhao scheme, which was launched on 22nd January 2015 by our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi, it aimed to address the, to save the girl child and make her study in schools and also to manage the issue of declining child sex ratio image and is a national initiative jointly run by the Ministry of Women and Child Development. The Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and the Ministry of Education. But we still struggle to save our girl child and still putting efforts to bring girls to schools. You can check on Google that our best player of Indian women cricket team, Mithali Raj, when signs a paid contract is only for 15 lakh. In comparison to Indian men cricket team captain, Virat Kohli, who gets one crore for a paid contract. They are talked of women empowerment, saving girl, child, beti bachao, beti padhao, etc. But how far actually have we succeeded? Leave all these big projects aside. Just ask yourself, not only males, even females, are we giving appropriate respect to the women in our families? We are, we are respecting relations, but not the gender. Today also in most of the Indian families, women are not allowed to eat before the end of the family dines. Only females have to fast for the long lives of their husbands. Women are not allowed in decision-making for the important issues of the family. Men decides and imposes their decisions on the women of their family and women has to follow even if they do not agree with it. Though we have Hindu Succession Amendment Act in our constitution for women, which talks about women's property rights, but women themselves are unaware of it. Many a times, we females only create obstacles on the ways of another female and stop them progressing. Aren't we still gender biased? Aren't we knowingly or unknowingly, consciously or unconsciously consciously do this gender discrimination? Why can't we teach our boys some household chores and help their mom in the kitchen while your brilliant daughter is preparing for her exams? Why can't we teach our boys to respect girls and other females while walking on the road and in other public places? Why can't a parent happily send his girl child to best schools without thinking of her fees as a burden? Why can't we marry our daughters without giving dowries? I feel dowries is a bride to groom's family to keep their daughter happy forever but still it never happens. So was the way to curb the situation? I think it's only through awareness and realization of importance of women in our family, in our society, at workplaces and on sports field. After all, a woman only has a capability to take our generations further. How about one minute, please? Yes. Let's give women their space to grow and bloom, not by exploiting her, but by actually respecting her capabilities. Let her get paid for her strengths and intelligence. 
let her get promotions she deserves. Let's start it from our own families. Allow your family women to put her opinion in decision making. Keep her share too in your property. Allow her to laugh out loud sometimes. Allow her to share her emotions. Try to know and understand what women want. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rafa. Thank you.